Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, it is February 27th, and New Jersey and a lot of parts around uh, the state, um, we're finally getting snow tonight, right? Uh, five inches of snow. Sounds like nothing, but this is literally the first snowstorm, well, snow that we've got all year. So it's very, very tough to uh, complain about the winters so far, but as uh, Mother Nature has a sense of humor, so does the market gods, we would probably get hit for nine feet of snow for the rest of uh, the spring. So let's talk about the market, right? First of all, if you are uh, brand new to the channel, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Anyway, so last week we had you know, a pretty big move down, right? You had a 3% move all across the board. Uh, you had a 3.3% decline in the NASDAQ. And the question was, well, can the NASDAQ hold on, right? Can the NASDAQ can accuse... I'll hold on to the 200-day moving average. That was the most important part. And, you know, this morning you, you woke up and the futures were up. Everything was uh, gapping up aggressively. And he would go like, all right, all right, bulls, you know, we knew we talked about the levels on uh, on the weekend video that the bulls needed to reclaim, right? Remember we talked about the 299 level uh, on the queues? And we said, all right, let's see if they can do so. And, you know, this turned out to be um, one of the more uneventful days I can remember in a very, very long time, right? If you look at the final scoreboard, the Dow was up 70 points and uh, NASDAQ was up 70 points and S&P 500 was up 12, right? It doesn't really register uh, of turning the needle, but it's it's not even moving the needle. It's how the market started. So here's the gap up, right? So here's your gap up here right at the open and the market from the open did absolutely nothing but fade, right? That's all the market did. So we had a lot of stocks. Uh, we had a lot of stocks gap up into supply. And when you look at the daily chart of the QQQs, you can see where we got rejected, right? We got rejected right back into this 20-day supply. And that's been the theme. If you notice here, today got rejected there. Uh, it got rejected there on the 23rd. It also got rejected there on the 21st. So again, you could clearly see why this 20-day moving average was so important when we lost it. And that was below that 297 level that we talked about last week and had a really, really good pivot and went all the way down to the 200-day moving average. So we're kind of in no man's land, right? And, and today was just one of those drip days. Uh, after the open, everything started dripping, right? Uh, everything that was weak last week continued to stay weak. Uh, the names that we talked about last week that potentially could start firming up, we'll get to those in a second, NVIDIA. Uh, Tesla, again, we'll get to those in uh, a couple of minutes. More important is the whole, right? Not the sum of the parts, but the whole. And you look at a lot of names and you can notice they replicated what the Qs did say because again, they trade in tandem. So even though you had a really strong move today on Tesla, right? Which is setting them to a, a pretty good setup uh, for today or tomorrow, um, excuse me, for tomorrow or the next day, you have a lot of stocks that got rejected in the same area, right? You got you got Apple getting rejected. You got Amazon getting rejected. Even Netflix that was strong for a good portion of the morning. If you guys remember, it's had this horrific move down and lost the 50-day moving average. You know, started you know started rallying, and even 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 Netflix closed eight dollars uh, from its highs. And you know, in names like Microsoft, right? You could turn around and go, ah, Microsoft is up a dollar. Microsoft is not up a dollar. Microsoft has gotten destroyed. Microsoft has gone from 275 all the way down to 248 in, in about in about two weeks. So you could tell here it felt very it felt very bland. It's like it's like eating your your, your grandma's you know not not the good grandma that knows how to cook that grandma that uh, that learned how to cook on on YouTube right and you're in her house eating that bland I don't know rice and porridge and God knows what else she's putting in there. Right? That's what Tay te felt like. Tay felt like it was just there. The market was going through the motions. Um, you know, it, the volume today was very low. Okay. Um, and you can see that with a lot of names. First, I was like, wow, is there, is there a, you know, is there a three day weekend? No, we just came from, you know, we just came from uh, the weekend and like, is there, you know, you know, towards the last day of the month, I mean, it's not really a, that big of a deal unless you're a trader who, uh, who trades mark the market. 
uh, which, which is the only big deal to you. So why was the volume so slow today? What's the market waiting for? And it's a very, very uh, open-ended question. Sometimes you're just going to get a very un, uh, uneventful day. But the more important part is kind of what we, you know, we talked about uh, on the weekend video, right? Right now we are, you know, now we are basing below this 20-day moving average that we just talked about that rejected three times, right? So we, again, the price to the upside doesn't change. We need that 299, right? Once we get above 299, I think the bulls are going to be back, you know, back, and I think risk is going to be on. You can start uh, putting on especially aggressive overnights. But now we're kind of, since we got rejected off this area, and we're trying to hold on to the five-day moving average, which is a short-term sentiment, now the question is, can the bulls, you know, since we're back in the middle of the range here, we're not at 299, we're not at 290, we're like, like literally 293, 294. The question is, you know, can the bulls muscle the way back up? And it's, it's to me very, very tough. When I went through a lot of charts today, I mean, thank God for, you know, setups like NVIDIA and Tesla, uh, and even on the short side, we talked about it on the weekend video lift. I will, you know, lowest close today in this whole formation on earnings. There's really not a lot of really good looking charts. Matter of fact, when you look at our uh, our pivot fee today, literally, I literally put in one, two, three, four, five, five pivots for the whole day, right? That's five pivots for the whole day. Uh, three, two of them, uh, two of them went directional bias. Uh, NVIDIA just got to the earnings high, didn't quite get there, and Lyft kind of triggered on the close. So it wasn't a really, it wasn't a super active day. Uh, and the question is, well, what happens next? And I, I, I've always, you know, maintained the, the idea that, again, we don't have to guess, right? Uh, just because the stock market is open doesn't mean that your specific style of trading or your specific process uh, or your, your stocks uh, are, are going to be highlighted. So, so for example, today you had FSR, right? Fisker of all things. FSR had a huge move today. I couldn't care less, right? Not really my thing. My thing is Tesla. My thing is NVIDIA. My thing is, you know, Apple and Meta and Amazon. So it really didn't ring the register for me uh, or even, you know, even uh, bring it to my attention because I just didn't care. There's no edge there uh, for me. Uh, names, for example, you know, like a Neo, right? Like a Neo today, Supposedly sympathy, right? Right. So you hear on, on social media, sympathy play, sympathy play. The stock is up three cents. So the idea of sympathy play and all this crap that social media manufactures, uh, it's just what it is, right? Maybe the stock will move, maybe the stock doesn't. But the point is, if your specific process is just not warranted for that day, just leave it alone, right? Just leave it alone. I say it all the time. Why sit there, try to squeeze water out of a rock, try to, you know, try to play that two seven offsuit. Let the market, like today's, this is something that I call let the market doing the legwork for you, right? It, you know, it, it didn't really get us anywhere. It really didn't give us a lot of value, uh, potential value, yes, uh, but didn't give us a really a lot of value to look for. So instead of trying to force the issue and, you know, listening to the theory of there's always a bull market somewhere or there's always action somewhere, yeah, maybe it, there is and it probably is. But if you're a trader of, you know, if you're a trader of, let's like, say, for example, if you're an e mini trader, what do you care what IBM does? Right. If you're a trader of IBM, what's the difference what some three dollar stock is doing and, and vice versa? So it's very, very specialized. Uh, again, once you find your niche and your edge and uh, and you cultivate and you hone in and all that good skills, just stay away from everything else. You don't need to be creative. Uh, this business is unforgivable. You're unforgivable. You don't get a mulligan. So if you try to go outside of your comfort zone and start trading things that are completely random, uh, completely out of the blue. You, you've never heard of the symbol. Joe Blow from Hot Stock, you know, jerkoff.com picks, loves it. You know, just stay away from it. If, you know, if everybody's in the same thing at the same time, just again, leave them alone. Random stocks will always give you random results. And maybe you'll do well, maybe you won't. But the point is, if you stay within your lane, whether you stay within your comfort zone, I promise you within the next day or so, you're going to get those queens, kings, and aces. So why settle for the 2-7 offsuit if you don't have to? Again, the market is open, yes. Every stock moves, yes. But is every stock tradable? According to, you know, according to social media, there's something for someone, for, for always for somebody, but it might not be right for you. And that's, that's the discipline, right? That's how you grow as a trader. Uh, that's how you develop, develop your lack of FOMO. And that's how you eventually, over time, start detaching. So going into tomorrow, I'm kind of delta neutral. Uh, there's definitely setups I like, right? Tesla's my favorite stock. So if the world goes to the hell in a handbasket, I could always look at my Tesla. Um, you know, Tesla has an event coming up, right? So there was a pivot today. Uh, there was a sneaky pivot today. A sneaky pivot of experienced traders starts building 
203.28, big spot needs to get above 205. Stock went to like 209 and change, right? So that that's not the big point. The big point is they were coming for the 220s, the 225s, the 230 weeklies. Now, in case you don't know, apparently Elon Musk has uh, scheduled an event. Will this be one of those scenarios? I think the event is March 1st. So will, th will this be one of those scenarios, sell the news? Your guess is as good as mine. I, I, I definitely will not be long Tesla into the event, right? Because I don't want an, a sell the news type of scenario. But I think if the market is strong to tomorrow, if the market could actually contain a bid, you know, there is a channel here coming up on Tesla, right? And if this channel could start, you know, could start building, maybe we can run up, you know, into that 218, 220 level ahead of the event. So if the event is to sell the news, then your, your, your exposure is off the table. You don't care what happens next. If the event actually gets bought, well, then we have other ranges to t talk about. But the point is, if you're going to be trading Tesla because you want to buy it into the event, just remember, I was long the day before battery day. It was one of my worst days I can remember. It was like two, three years ago. I got killed. I got absolutely killed. Uh, the AI day, if you guys remember, it was last year or whatever it was, uh, that day could actually turned out to be great because it got stuffed into the AI event. And it was a massive channel to the downside. So don't be naive and you see somebody on social media say, you got to be long into it, into the event. No, you could be, you could be, you could have a, a good trade, whether it's on dips or coming out of a channels, running into the event. But into the event is a 50-50 crapshoot. And again, like everything else on DraftKings, you're either going to win or you're going to lose. That's not trading, that's gambling. And hopefully uh, you'll have, uh, you know, you'll have some uh, common sense going into that. But again, like I said, we never know. If I knew for a fact what was going to happen I would be all in on that price, but we don't. The only thing I could be uh, ready for is tomorrow's channel. And I'm definitely watching the channel here. If it starts building above this whole channel, I think there's a shot. They run it into the event and possibly see that 218, uh, 220 level. NVIDIA today, right? NVIDIA, you know, NVIDIA got above uh, this channel here. There was a sneaky pivot here on NVIDIA, uh, 237 and a quarter and 239 as the earnings highs. It got right to 239 again, double top reverse back down so again you know is it going to reverse back tomorrow i don't know right i don't know the fact that it got a double top two days after putting its earnings highs not really a great thing but 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 if nvidia could actually hold up for the next day or so maybe by thursday it starts attacking back uh the earnings highs we'll see we'll see uh on the downside right we got to be prepared for both sides look at meta right all the stocks i was joking around but all the stocks that I was ready for today on the downside that gapped up that did nothing. Well, those are the same setups I'm ready for tomorrow. Just let's watch the same way as the Qs keep on getting rejected off this brown line, the 20-day moving average. Look at Meta. It keeps on getting defended uh, off this area. So if Meta starts losing this 20-day moving average, you know, this thing could get hit. Keep an eye on this thing. Lift, right? L look at Lyft. This is going to be a slow trader, right? I, I, I promise you as the day is long, this is going to be a slow trader. But you guys remember this thing blew. We talked about this on the weekend update. This thing blew up on earnings, right? It blew up on earnings. And this is the lowest close in this whole formation on earnings. So if this thing starts con confirming today's channel, it's very conceivable you can get two, three, four, five days uh, of, of, of a slow drip fade. And, you know, again, all you need to do if you're swinging this thing, all you need to do is, is use the previous, you know, previous day's highs for the last two days. When you're talking about risking potentially, what, 30, 40 cents? And if the market, you know, gets pulled down, look how much room you have. So the, the risk reward here uh, is definitely great. Absolutely great. The key is it has to confirm uh, today's channel uh, for tomorrow. So that's it. I mean, sometimes, you know, you have, you have a very clear path, uh, clear, you know, kind of thesis of what's going to happen tomorrow. The fact that the queues are right in the middle of the ranges here, it's going to be very, very tough. We obviously have to wait uh, for things to kind of play out. And, and again, sometimes in your career, you have to know the difference between stepping on the back gas and pull, you know, and, and, and pulling back, scaling back a little bit. And sometimes you have to let the market, I say this all the time in the webinar, sometimes you just have to let the market do the heavy lifting for you. It's like clear out the, you know, clear out the, the forest, clear out the trees so you can see the wide open lane so you can run right through them. Guys, God bless, stay blessed, stay healthy, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take